All right, guys, so we've all been there before. We finally just purchased our very first vehicle. Could be new, could be pre-owned or used. And what's the first thing we wanna do? We wanna customize it. We wanna make it our own. We wanna individualize it. So the most cost-effective way of customizing your car without burning a hole in your pocket is window tint. So I'm gonna do a three-part series on uh, how to do window tinting on your own or for beginners. Uh, I'm gonna make it really simple, really easy, straightforward. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with the roll up and roll down windows. Second video, I'm planning on doing the quarter windows. And last but not least, but most important, is heating down the rear window and installing it. So let's get started and uh, let's get right to it. Oh, by the way guys, you like the new haircut? No more uh, Neanderthal or caveman haircut. All right, so the tools you need for this job is pretty straightforward. A uh, squirt bottle, microfiber towel, a squeegee, of course a knife, stainless steel scraper blade, paper towel itself. In this case, it's a shop towel and a Bono card. Any kind of Bono card from, uh, from your hardware store. And most importantly, the blade here has the uh, stainless steel uh, for that reason, uh, so you don't uh, etch or cut your glass. And it should say stainless steel right on the end here. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but right there. And window film. And all this stuff uh, you can get at your local um, hardware store or uh, automotive store. Uh, the window tint, I recommend just uh, going to one of your local tint shops. They should be able to supply you with some. Uh, don't get cheap stuff. You get cheap film, it won't last you long, and you're going to have to redo the whole job again. And it looks like garbage. All right, guys, so if, when you first start out, you probably want to uh, mix your soap solution, or also known as your si uh, slip solution. Uh, you want to fill up all the way to the fill line, which is right here. Most bottles will have it and uh, preferably we use baby johnson you can use your uh, dish soap like dawn or palm olive or uh, any kind of dish soap like that but uh, we prefer um, baby johnson so it's just a little easier on the adhesive it's just easier to work with too and it smells good too uh, fill up right to the top and put about for baby johnson's i'd put about uh, six to eight drops um, generous drops i guess and, uh, and uh, you're good to go you may want to adjust, it depends on the film. Uh, some adhesive slips a little more than the, the others. So nowadays with technology and everything, you can guess, I guess, buy a kit right online and it should fit, most of them should fit, but some of them don't. So just be aware you guys, you guys buy some stuff on eBay or whatever online. Some of those kits won't fit. So you'll need to be able to hand cut just in case if you run into that situation where the window doesn't fit. Uh, I'd recommend trying it. It'll save you some time if it fits. Um, I would go to like a local tin shop. Most of them now these days do have pre-cut kits. Um, it's just faster, more efficient, and control um, film volume or know how much film they're cutting. So that's why they changed to pre-cut. But in this series, I'm going to show you guys how to hand cut just so that uh, you can do it yourself. First, we're gonna start off by cleaning all the windows uh, so that we can lay the film down and cut it. With most of you guys, you guys don't have a big piece of glass like this, so we're gonna use the rear windshield or the front windshield here to uh, peel the film or use it as a peeling board. Um, by the way, if you guys use the front windshield, make sure you guys turn off the windshield uh, sensor, or uh, the rain sensor, because when you spray the film, it'll automatically turn on and ruin your tint. And don't forget the heat gun, you guys. You'll need that for sure. So we're gonna start off by measuring the film. You wanna uh, give yourself a little bit of extra film to uh, work with. So you don't wanna, you wanna, you'd rather be long than short uh, in this situation. So you finally cut your film and you want to make sure the film is on the right side. Uh, so basically, when you're applying the film to the outside of the window, uh, you want to make sure the cellophane is on the outside. Um, and to test that, 
the cellophane is slippery and the film side itself is sticky. So uh, when you rub it together, see how it, slip, it slides really easy? That's the cellophane side. And the film side itself is very sticky, it doesn't slide. That's how you know. So when you apply it to the, to the window, cellophane side out. Sounds pretty simple, but a lot of guys do uh, mix it up and cut the wrong window. So we're gonna start off by making sure the windows roll up all the way, because if it's down just a little bit, you're gonna be short on the bottom, so. so you're gonna spray our soap solution. Make sure the cellophane's on the outside. So what we're gonna do is place the film there. So important step here, you guys, the belt. The belt line is right here. So you wanna be just below the belt line. On. And so that when you apply the film, it's gonna drop below the belt line. That way, uh, when you roll up and roll down the window, the film doesn't catch on the weather stripping. So there we go guys, so it's all set. The uh, film is just below the weather strip, or the belt line here. And then we're going to cut off all the excess here that we don't need. And just make sure you gave yourself enough on both sides here. Now with that, we have it anchored, the film's not gonna move anymore, so we can freely pick up and cut off all the excess film here. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect right now, you guys. And so what you're gonna do next is, um, a lot of guys will like take their knife and cut along this weather stripping here. But for beginners, you may slip and you might cut this pillar here and, and a lot of stuff can go wrong and you can slip and lose this film. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a china marker or um, a jiffy marker. We're gonna mark on outside here, along all the way to the top and we're gonna do that for the outside, on the, uh, on the opposite side. There. I took my china marker and I marked it all the way to the top and to the bottom and we do that to the other side too right here and if you look at the china marker it's on the inside not on the outside all right so now that we marked it off on both sides this is the important part here. When you're rolling down the window, uh, make sure you pull the film off the, uh, the weather stripping and off of here so that's not sticking. And then you're gonna roll it down. That's important, that's why you anchor it here. And you're gonna roll it down. There you go, and then the top, the leading edge is exposed now. So on the next step, we're gonna cut the uh, top edge here, but to get that really nice line, uh, we're gonna use the edge as a guide. Um, that's where we're not gonna get all that waviness. And to do that, you're gonna use your knife, but there's a technique to it. There's it on the edge here. You're gonna rest that against the, the edge of the, uh, the window. See, now it's not moving anywhere. And that's what we're gonna do. The key to it is you have to have a fresh blade because without that fresh blade, it will not guide and it will be all choppy and uh, serrated. So, and you wanna do in one motion. It'll take a little bit of practice, but uh, you'll get it. So what you're gonna do is put some tension here, put it through. 
Now you're going to rest it against the, the edge of the window and you're going to do one glide. And tear away from the, the window itself. If you don't want to tear it in, tear it in. If you don't cut it all the way, it's going to cut through. It's going to rip your uh, film. So if the technique is done properly, you guys, you'll see it's, you get that nice micro edge all the way across. And the key to it is doing it in one stroke. If you don't do it in one stroke, you guys, you will get, uh, let's see what focus is here. Here we go. So basically the key, the key to it is doing it in one motion. If you stop, you'll get that stop line when you roll down the window and, uh, so practice and uh, the, the, tech, the trick to it is basically pressing that edge here and doing one, doing one motion across and using that edge there. So fresh blade and a fresh knife because if you drop the knife a few times, you'll, you'll basically uh, cut the film here by, by the edge of the knife here. So one motion and resting it on the edge of the film uh, on the uh, window here so next up you guys we're gonna cut that edge where we marked off with the uh, channel marker so we're gonna use the back window we use the back window because we're gonna mimic that we're doing this mobile so we're gonna cut on the outside of the china marker, not the inside. If you cut the inside, you're gonna be short. So this is gonna be a, behind the weather strip, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go in fancy um, and use a ruler and cut that nice line, but you can always just hand cut it. But remember, on the outside of the china marker line, And again on the outside and this is where it's important to use your uh, stainless steel because this if you use a regular steel blade it will etch the glass and you'll see that permanent line on the outside another key thing you have to you have to have to is round off your corners because if you don't round up your corners when you roll up then roll down that window it will catch in the window. The, uh, the window tint will peel on you uh, long term wise. Just long term durability, round off the corners. There we go. So we got our window now, nice and rounded off. Caught on the outside. And the same thing with that. So I'd recommend just using some scrap pieces of tint that you have laying around and master that shaving um, the top of the window technique. If you can master that every time somebody rolls down your window and they sees it, it just makes your job look that much more um, professional looking. And uh, trust me, it's, it's fantastic. Um, practice, 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 and a fresh blade and uh, make sure the edge here is not all jagged from dropping your knife and stuff. So don't drop your knife and you'll get that nice edge. Practice, practice, you guys. All right, so next off, you guys, take off the door panels. Um, taking off the door panels will make the install so much easier, like 90% easier. It's just so that all the stuff is not in the way, the weather stripping and um, just all the contaminants that are on the... Uh, the, the door panel itself is not going to touch their uh, window tint. So dust and dirt is the uh, enemy of uh, window tint. Um, if you can clean it, the cleaner the better, the better your job will be. Um, it just, when you need to move the film around, if there's no dirt or contaminants, the job will look that much more professional looking. So we remove the door panel, you guys, and uh,
yeah. All right, so like I mentioned before, the key thing is uh, getting your windows clean and that's where your scraper blade comes in or a scrub pad will work too. So we're gonna start off by cleaning the sides of the rubber gaskets here, because there's a lot of dirt in there, uh, especially on a used vehicle. So you're gonna get your microfiber towel. Look at that. It's over the years of uh, driving with the windows down. And that will get inside your uh, tent. So make sure you clean this. Razor blade. We're going to use the same solution and scrape. Start from the top and work your way down because you can use gravity to uh, get all the dirt down. Again, start from the top. Now that you can have all the dirt on the sides from your squeegee, you're gonna take your Bondo card, wrap it in some paper towel, and get right into that edge there. Anything that the towel missed, the uh, shop towel will get it there. And again, I'm just using just whatever tools that you can get at the hardware store. You can go all fancy and go to your uh, local tint shop and buy a DIY tint kit. We'll have like other special tools um, that can get in there even better. But you know what? Save you guys your money for uh, and put it towards uh, car parts. And you're going to use the top edge here. Again, spray, scrape again. Then spray and squeegee. And you're gonna take a fresh towel, not the microfiber towel because it'll leave little, little dots or a little fuzz hair. You can use a Shop towel and wipe. And you're going to squeegee again. And again, take your towel and your bondo card. One final clean. And that's it. And now we're ready to install the film. So the key to a, a good professional looking install is having the window clean and a clean environment. Uh, you shouldn't tint with the windows, like the garage door open or any kind of draft. Um, if you live in like colder climates, you may want to turn the uh, um, heater down, especially if you have a blower fan, because that'll pick up all the dust and stuff like that. And, uh, It'd be amazing. It looks clean right now. As soon as you peel that film and put it on, you'll see like little dot dust specks everywhere, and that's because it's a contaminant in the air from the your fan and stuff. So, any kind of draft you kind of want to eliminate. So, if you're in a garage, close the garage doors, don't open the doors, and uh, that's the key. All right, guys. So now that everything is clean, then you get your soap solution. Or, and then spray. And you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave that top line all from the top here. Don't spray all the way to the top just in case you have any little dirt here. It will go into your, uh, your film and you get little dots uh, everywhere. So you're gonna spray again from the 
starting from the top down and forcing any dirt that's left behind down. And we're going to leave that fan on the top and down. So when you spray, you want to leave that top edge dry so that any of the dirt from here doesn't drip in. All right, here's a trick I'm going to show you guys. So it's make sure the film is laying flat against the window. Um, some guys have somewhat of a hard time um, peeling the uh, backing from the uh, window tint itself. So what you do is just kind of flick it from the corner here. The film should separate from the cellophane itself. And there you go. So just kind of flick it a few times and it should work. So we're going to pick up the film, but try not to touch or handle the adhesive side. So and there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the film in without touching the sides, you guys. Try not to touch the sides. And that's why it's important to have a nice clean surface, clean area to work with. So bottom in first, bottom in first. And there you go. And you're going to line up the, the top edge. So once you get the film in, you want to leave at least a little bit of a eighth of an inch gap. So that when you roll up and roll down the windows, you guys, it doesn't catch here because then eventually this will peel. And that's why another reason why I told you to uh, round the corners off. Is so when you roll it up and down on an everyday use car, show cars, you may not get a, you know, well, you'll show cars, you can probably get away with it without leaving an edge um, because they don't use it as often. But if this is your daily driver, you may want to leave an eighth inch, not too big not too tight so that it won't peel on you guys so once you got that nice edge on the top and it's even all the way around you want to squeegee it and so it doesn't move around that's where your tack solution or your slip solution uh, comes in handy if you have the right solution once you squeegee like this it won't move around uh, if it moves around, you have a little bit too much soap. Uh, you may want to play with the uh, soap. And uh, that's why I recommend testing a small piece uh, before you do the actual install itself. Uh, so you know that you have the right solution. So again, from the top, out to the sides. Once it's squeegee down, you're gonna take a fresh shop towel or any kind of just towel and uh, we're going to warm up the outside with the heat gun you're going to warm it up just enough with the heat gun and you're going to feel from the inside to make sure the heat is up to temperature you don't want to overheat it you overheat it and then it's no good to the sides and if you have the right tack solution it won't move on you and then you're ready to roll it up so now the top is ready we're gonna spray and squeegee down Make sure you change the edges ever so often so you don't catch any of the dirt here and it's going to scratch your tint. So make sure you change the uh, towel wedge ever so often. And go up to the sides and then down. Up to the sides and then down. And you 
speed and that's it and then you're gonna put the uh, door panel back on but we would do the quarter first so that's pretty much it you guys pretty straightforward key thing is fresh stainless steel blade um, cleanliness of your window is the key uh, if you clean the window properly and it's super clean uh, even if you touch the sides here and with the door panel removed, it's so easy. Um, but practice makes uh, perfect, you guys. And uh, yeah. now we got that nice edge here and the window's pretty much complete. And if it's done properly, it looks, there's no dust specks or anything like that. And that's the way it should be looking. There you go. All right, guys. So that's part one of the DIY window tinting for uh, beginners. And uh, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard, you guys. Don't forget to source out a reputable brand. Uh, what we use here is Lumar uh, window films. And that's the only window film that would, I guess, put on our own personal vehicles and stuff. And it just outlasts anything out there and just outperforms. It looks fantastic too. Um, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy these kind of vlogs. And if you guys do, please do smash that subscribe button guys and turn on the notification and give me a thumbs up. Uh, support my channel you guys and uh, help a brother out. All right, so hopefully that saves you guys some money and uh, make window tinting enjoyable for you guys. And stay tuned for next week. We're gonna do the quarter window. A little small window, window like that but it's pretty tricky to install clean, do it clean. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Like